Kevin Trevathan Stefanski. You know, I thought about it. I weighed the pros and cons. And after watching Brandon Staley dismantle you in coaching, I think it's time for you to hit the road. And I get these Browns fans. Oh, he's the best thing we've ever had. He's the greatest coach we've ever had. Did you see the way he got dismantled by Brandon Staley the other day? It was embarrassing. I seen a coach on the opposite end just play to his quarterback strength. I mean, hell, it only took this guy 21 games to realize our best tight end option is David Njoku. I mean, you realize David Njoku was buried on a depth chart for like, uh, he was third on a depth chart for like the half the season last year, more than half the season. It would happen last year. We played the Jets. Our receiver's out. Did he even use Njoku? Njoku should have been the wide out like DK Metcalf. Cream Hunt should have been in the slot. But no, he doesn't do that. This guy is an idiot. He's getting, and you know what his problem is? He's hard-headed. If he doesn't think of it, he won't do it. He's just got a problem. And it must have killed him to see the Browns offense so fluid and smooth against Pittsburgh on that uh, playoff game. And then the following week, he comes and he just kills our offense. This guy is the worst thing for a quarterback ever. He's just terrible. He's turned Baker Mayfield into a game manager. I mean, Mayfield is just a game manager now. And if you Browns can't, fans can't see that, then you're blind. He's turned Mayfield into a game manager. And that's not Mayfield's strength. Mayfield's strength is sitting in a shotgun, just dishing, dealing, whatever. That's what he needs to be doing. He doesn't need to be under center. He's a, I mean, you can put him under center, but not 90% of the game. He's turned him into a game manager. And I don't like the way this guy just misuses his players. He just doesn't. I mean, you got Odell Beckham. Obviously, there's a disconnect between him and uh, Mayfield. Throw some slants. Throw some screen. Bubble screen. Reverse anything. Get him going. You know Mayfield as well as I do. He's a fucking rhythm passer. Get him going early, and the guy's as good as anyone in the fucking game. But you don't do that. Got to run, run, pass. Run, run, pass. Run, run, pass. Run, run, pass. Now run, run, pass. Because I'm Kevin Stefanski. I tailor my quarterback to my offense. Other coaches tailor their offense to fit the quarterback strength. But I don't do that. Because I'm Kevin Stefanski. I'm hardhead with an ego the size of me. Run, run, pass. Run, run, pass. Run, 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 pass. Punt. Because I'm Kevin Stefanski. I tailor my quarterback to fit my offense. You are a fucking idiot. When Brandon Staley said to you on fourth and two from his own 22-yard line that he was not going to punt no more, and you answered back after they got a touchdown and got a two-point conversion, and you answered back with run, run, pass, wait, with run, run, pass, punt. When you answered back with that, he told you, you better score points. You didn't get no points. That's where the game was lost. We can talk about the interference call. That was bullshit blatant. But Kevin Stefanski's inability to, to recognize, let me throw on first down. Let me throw on second down. Not run, run, pass. I hate that. I can't stand this guy. And if he gave a play calling, I, I would consider keeping him. But until then, you're useless in this team. You're actually a governor. You know what a governor is? It's on an engine, so they can't maximize its potential. You are a governor to our quarterback. We don't know what we have in Mayfield right now, but I do. I watched his rookie tape. I know what we have. I seen the guy willing and dealing against the fucking Raiders uh, years ago, whatever, when we got robbed of that game, too. But I know what we have in Baker Mayfield, but we're never going to see or maximize his potential under you because you don't understand offensive concepts. You could run the ball in this league, but you're not going to win Super Bowls running the ball. Trust me. You got to give up play calling, and you need to get out of your mind that Nick Chubb, your senior, or your son should get the ball over Kareem Hunt all the time. Now, I understand Chubb wasn't in the game at the end, but was that just a ploy to make Kareem Hunt look bad? I mean, a third down and nine draw? Did you want him to look bad so you can just tell people, well, that's why I played Nick Chubb in a subtle way <laughs> over Kareem Hunt? Is that what you did? You always do things like this. So I, you left me no choice. If I'm the Browns owner right now, I call you and say, listen, you're relinquishing play calling abilities to uh, AVP. If you can't handle that, you're gone. It's that simple. Anyone could coach this offense. And besides, you're a fucking defensive back. AVP played quarterback in this league. I think he was Aaron Rodgers' uh, play caller at one time. Why wouldn't you just want to get rid of that stress? Obviously, your game management's terrible, too. And why is our quarterback dinking and dunking down the end of the game? And honestly, as a head coach, you got to be able to get between Mayfield's mind and get rid of that disconnect between him and Beckham. Because I've never seen it, and I've never even heard of it before. Something's going on there, and a good coach should fix that. We should have hired Bruce fucking Arians. Like I said, you're hard-headed. The Jets game proved it to me. I mean, what the fuck? You got all your receivers out. You don't even fucking do nothing. You run the ball fucking 15 times and pass it 58 fucking times. And then, I mean, last year we, we had the Cowboys. We were killing them 35-7. to 7. We almost lost. We're killing the Titans 35-7 to 7 at halftime. We almost lost. 
Jesus fucking Christ, Kevin. Would you fucking get with the program, Slick? It's time. You got to get out of these offensive doldrums. Give up play calling. And you know what? People will look at you as a bigger man than that because you admit your faults. You're not a play caller at this level. You've never been a play caller. You kill any quarterback's momentum. You got to get your quarterback in rhythm. Mayfield's a rhythm passer. And you know what? I don't care who our quarterback is, quite frankly. I'm a fan of the Cleveland Browns. I could care less if it's Case Keenum. I don't care. Because you know what? Case Keenum is probably, um, he's basically Baker Mayfield with a weaker arm. And I'll tell you one thing right now. I bet you Case Keenum gets the ball to Odell Beckham. I guarantee you that. Because there's a disconnect, the mental fucking block with Mayfield and the Beckham. It's, it's, and it's on Mayfield. It's not Beckham. People want to blame Beckham. Beckham's done nothing wrong. It's not on Beckham. It's on fucking Mayfield. And I don't know what it is mentally about this guy. But anytime someone says something, he fucking got to fucking respond. He's like a fucking puppet. Here, I'm making Nathan. I'm going to fucking dance. I'm going to dance. And that's not a characteristic you want of your fucking starting quarterback. But that's what it is. That's who he is. And that's who we have. And you got to get the best out of your quarterback. And your coaching is not doing it, but it's hindering the best. You're hindering the best we're going to see from our quarterback because you're coaching and your play calls. Against Minnesota, your play calling was absolutely atrocious. When we should have been running to make them burn timeouts at the end, you were throwing. The quarterback at the time that day couldn't hit the broadside of a fucking barn. Actually, he couldn't hit the broad side of wings. Oh, hold up, hold up. I want these little fucking bugs. Look at that. Fucking hate them fucking bugs. And then, uh, this cat, you got to you gotta give a play calling. Let AVP do it, and I'll guarantee your offense will move so fluid. It had to fucking kill you to watch us kill Pittsburgh offensively against uh, in that playoff game. You see how smooth our offense is running? If you were coaching us that day, we'd blow that lead. I guarantee it, Kevin. So I beg of you, for the love of God, give up play calling because you got to get this kid going. Look, we we can win a Super Bowl with Case Daniel Keenum or Mayfield, but I'd rather do it with Mayfield at this juncture. He's got the stronger arm, and I know what he can do. I've seen him in the, his rookie year. The guy got a howitzer. Let him throw the fucking ball. If he throws three TDs and an interception every fucking game, I don't give a fuck as long as we win. But you gotta let him. You got you, you. You you cannot take the ball out of his hand at the end of the game. Third and nine. It should have been fourth down. You should have went fourth and fourth down. Case in point. Your last eight minutes of the fucking Chiefs game, the playoff game. Look at his play calling. It was you. Your play calling was so bad. You cost us a chance to beat the Chiefs. It was embarrassing. I mean, you were so conservative. Everything underneath, and then, I mean, Nick Chubb running down a line. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with your play calling? It's okay to have a running game, but you're not going to win a Super Bowl with that running game. Trust me. You got to be able to throw in this league. And when you got a rhythm quarterback, you got to get him some throws early. So Stefanski. And I'll tell you right now, he could have Aaron Rodgers. He's not going to change his play calling. That's just how this guy is. It's just if People say you don't trust Mayfield. If he didn't trust Mayfield, he would have never had him throw at the end of the Vikings game when Mayfield missed Beckham wide open. Now, if that was – some say Mayfield or Beckham ran the wrong route. I hope so because if that was a, just an egregious throw by Mayfield, it was the worst throw in NFL history. And I will say this. Mayfield down a stretch of games at the end, he doesn't play good for some reason. I don't know what it is. I honestly think it's your play calling, but – for whatever reason, put him in a shotgun, let him deal. Let him fucking deal. He's quarterback. You've never played the position. At least I don't think you did. He knows what he sees. So, Kevin, give a play, Colin. And we, honestly, we should be 5-0 and right now. You lost both games, and uh, we should beat this Cardinals team. We're better than them. Vegas thinks so. So, no excuses, Kevin.